Hey everyone, and welcome to question three associated with the prevalence and incidence lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, we have a population of 1,000 patients with 250 having diabetes at the beginning of the study. Over 12 months, 100 patients with diabetes die, 100 patients develop diabetes, and 150 patients without diabetes die. So first, we're asked to calculate the prevalence at 12 months. So remember that the prevalence is the total number of patients with the disease over the total number of patients in the population. So in this case, we had 250 patients with the disease to start with, 100 died, and 100 new cases of diabetes occurred over the course of the study. And in terms of total number of patients, there were 1,000 patients initially, but 100 patients with diabetes died, and 150 patients without diabetes died. And therefore, the prevalence at 12 months will be 250 over 750. So this is the number of patients with diabetes over the total number of patients in the population at one period in time. We're then asked to calculate the incidence over the first 12 months. So remember the incidence is the, is the number of new cases among patients at risk. So importantly, the among patients at risk won't actually be 1,000, it'll be 750 because 250 patients start the study already with diabetes. And therefore they're not at risk for developing a new case of diabetes because they already have it. So therefore our at-risk population excludes those 250 patients. And then we see over the 12 months, 100 patients develop diabetes. So therefore our incidence will be 100 over 750. In this trick regarding the at-risk population is the way that they commonly try to fool students. So it's something to really you know, keep an eye out for. If you had trouble with this question, I recommend re-watching the prevalence and incidence lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.